I'm Charlotte Rose and I'm down here this morning with Apex Harmony on the Gold Coast. Surface Paradise Beach is just behind us and basically we're checking the drum lines and the nets along this section of the beach and really we're having a look at the measures that are put in place with the government and the Fisheries Association to we're actually enforcing this as a shark mitigation strategy. To be honest it's, it's really overwhelming when you grow up I suppose especially right by the water with a relationship with the ocean and, and this pre conception that you're actually made safe by these things called shark nets. It wasn't until I came out in the water and I truly got to see a visual understanding of, of what it means to, to have a shark net in the water. These nets are essentially about 180 or so metres long, but they're generally only about five metres deep. So if you can imagine, it's more like having a butterfly net in the sky and assuming that you're going to catch something. So not only are they they're giving many of the swimmers who are just there in, in surface paradise and in many beaches in Queensland the false assumption that they're keeping them safe and secure. Quite often they're entangling and trapping other animals and other marine life in the process. So 33,000 marine creatures other than sharks have been caught in the nets and drum lines just on the Queensland coast in the years since 1962 which is the implementation of the program and along with that you've got 57,000 sharks as well which predominantly as well those species have never had any evidence shown against them that they've they've threatened the safety of the beach the beach goers in Queensland